trucking industry is all I've ever known. Early on as a young child, my father made sure that I was involved in the business with him and he spent many years encouraging me. Started off with just just small jobs, you know, as a young boy, 12, 13 years old, sweeping shop floors. It was a big deal to be able to work in the shop versus working outside on trailers or changing tires or things of that nature. It was important though for our father to understand that, you know, for you to make any kind of progress at JM or to earn anything at JM, you have to learn it, you have to do it, and you have to do it well. Nothing was ever given to Harold or I just because of our father. Growing up, all of us siblings had to have jobs. Of course, Harold worked down at JM. So one day when I was 11 years old, I snuck down to JM in the back of the family station wagon. We get there, my dad's like, well, what am I going to do with you now? So from that day forward, you know, we either washed trucks, we pulled nails out of flatbeds, we swept and mopped shop floors. Someone came along and said, well, guess what? Said, Carl Jr. is sound asleep. And so he let him sleep as long as he wanted to. And then when he woke up, Carl went to talk to him and he said, well, he said, I just want you to know you won't be paid for today. Well, he laughed about it and he never did that again. <laughs> My brother's my business partner. We've been actually running it since 2003. We bought the company from my father in uh, 2014. Among the siblings, he's the oldest, you know, responsible brother, and I'm the young, whimsical, adorable baby brother. And, uh, and so you have that dynamic, and it can kind of get interesting sometimes. One of the things Harold has, he has a lifetime of experience in trucking, obviously, with his father starting the company. He and both Peter both started very early on being in trucking. And I think he understands the challenges of one running a family-owned business and growing that business, as well as uh, some of the things that the larger companies run into. As the ATA chair, I believe uh, Harold will bring uh, offense. He's definitely not a, a, a status quo type of person. He is going to uh, get stuff done. Harold is very fair, he's very open, and he's always willing to listen to anything you have to say. You know, moving things forward. Not a lot of um, interruption or you need to do it this way. It's more about we just need to get it done. Listens to your ideas. You know, we as a company have always been, let's, let's do better. One of the things that Harold always brings up, we don't rest until the good gets better and the better gets best. He's willing to put in whatever work you are to help you succeed. Very excited for Harold. I feel like he has worked up, this is his dream, to be the ATA chairman. He was GMTA chairman, National Tank Truck chairman, and now tonight he will be ATA chairman. Our family's so proud of him. He has shown his kids what it is to work and to have something, and they have seen the hours he puts in. He works 24-7. They know this is his passion. They know this is what he loves. Being an incoming chairman of the American Trucking Association is just a great time for Shannon and I. The apex of my career, I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to where we're at and we're looking very forward to getting out and meeting members of the ATA. Just being able to show our appreciation for people being part of our organization. We have a great staff, we have great leadership at ATA, and it's just a great time to be a member. If I was ever going to become a CEO, I know how to do it now because he does it the right way. Everybody can work on a day-to-day -day basis without worrying, am I going to be able to do my job right today? We're not dealing with same driver expectations today as we were six months ago or six years ago. I mean, it's changing constantly. If we're doing things today like we did yesterday, we're going to become a dinosaur. You know, I've never really worked a day in my life, I don't think. I've always enjoyed what I'm doing. And something that, you know, I look back on it and, you know, my dad kind of built me one brick at a time never real fast and you just woke up one day realizing you knew a little bit more than what you thought you knew and it's just a great interest and I'm glad to be able to do what I'm doing. Congratulations dad. Your hard work, dedication and perseverance throughout the years has been such an inspiration. Congratulations big daddy. We're so proud of you. Hey Harold, I just wanted to say thank you for being an amazing role model for me growing up through the years and that I'm so proud of you for being selected as chairman and I can't wait to see where this year takes you. Love you. Harold, you're a titan of American trucking. 
JM, Alabama, and the American Trucking Associations are all blessed by your strong leadership. And because of you, all of our futures are bright. Congratulations, Dad. Once again, you have proven to us that hard work pays off. My family and I are so proud of you, and we cannot wait to see what you accomplish this year. We wish you the best of luck and love you very much. Congratulations, Big Daddy. I'm super proud of you. Harold, from all of us at GMTA, congratulations. This is a well-deserved recognition, and we look forward to your year as chairman of ATA. One thing about Harold that really amazes me is that every time I'm with him, I learn something new from him. He's the type of person that leaves an impact on everyone he meets. And I think that's gonna be obvious through the work he does as ATA chairman. I'm so proud of everything Harold's accomplished and I'm really looking forward to the next year. Harold, I love you. Congratulations, Congratulations Big Daddy, we love you. From all the tank truck community, good luck and anything you need, we're behind you. Dad, thank you for continuing to set a great example for me and my kids and for teaching us the value of service and that a commitment to character in all aspects of life will get you where you want to go. Congratulations. Congratulations, Big Daddy. Keep those big trucks rolling.